great to see you. Today we will cover multiplying and dividing decimals by the power of 10. The decimal is going to get a big workout in today's lesson. We might get into a little jam when we first start, but stay cool and work it through. When multiplying by powers of 10 the decimal will move to the right. When we divide decimals by a multiple of 10 we move the decimal to the left. Let's look at a few examples. 2 and 45 hundreds times 100. I will show you on the place value chart. Man, I love that thing. I am multiplying so I will move the decimal to to the right. There are two zeros and 100, so I will move the decimal to place values to the right, like this. The answer is 245. Now let's try dividing. The problem reads 25 and 3 tenths divided by 100. The decimal will move to places to the right for a value of 253 thousandths. Sometimes exponents are used to denote values, for example, 10 to the second power means 10 times 10 or 100. 10 to the third power means 10 times 10 times 10 or 1000. When multiplying or dividing decimals by powers of 10 the exponent doesn't change the process. Let's take a look. 4 and 5 tenths times 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power is equal to 10 times 10 or 100. So we are multiplying 4 and 5 tenths by 100. When we multiply by 100, we move the decimal to the right two times. We fill in the empty place values with a zero. This gives us a product of 450. Man, this decimal is moving a lot. One more decimal, man. 365 divided by 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power is equal to 100. When we divide by 100, we move the decimal to places to the left for a quotient of 3 and 65 hundredths. Thanks, Decimal Man. We couldn't have done this lesson without you. Peace out, mathematicians.